Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today and today we have two major things that we have to get done. So I am going to take you along for that. The first step today is to take my injection, which I have right here, so we're gonna do that. Um, I get questions all the time about my medication that I take. It's a biologic, which helps manage my immune system against my Crohn's disease, so that way my body does not attack itself and cause more Crohn's. But I get questions like, does that cure it? How many doses do you have to take until you're all done? And unfortunately, this is a medication that I will take until either I am no longer around or it stops working for me. It helped heal my ileum where my stoma is. I actually had a small amount of Crohn's disease activity there. And so far, knock on wood, it seems like it is making it so Crohn's is not reappearing. Medications like this do not come without side effects though. And one of those is being immunocompromised. I have spent a good portion of my life on some sort of immunomodulator or immunosuppressant to help prevent Crohn's disease pop back up because it's an autoimmune illness. And that means that I get sick, like regular people sick, a little bit more often. All right, let me make sure that I get this injection done because we have to leave fairly soon and today I am due on my belly. Leroy is getting his glamour shot. <laughs> get this ready. Oh, they're cold. <laughs> All right, time to go. done okay wasn't sure <laughs> but I think one of the most frustrating things is just getting sick more often because you're already dealing with the chronic illness side of it you know dealing with Crohn's symptoms or Crohn's flares and then you're getting colds and things like that easier and when you do get colds they tend to be a bit worse and <laughs> sometimes you wind up hospitalized as I have experienced Anyways, the second thing that we have to do today is head out to get some IV fluids. And because I get them in a hospital type setting, I need something to protect myself, which leads me to our sponsor today, BNX Face Masks. When BNX reached out to me about collaborating, I was amazed by their quality and their selection, but was worried about sizing because I've had a lot of issues in the past trying to find a face mask that actually fits my tiny face. When I was a nurse, I would often have to give up patients that were on certain precautions because it was required that I wore an N95. And my hospital did not keep small N95s on hand for me. So I'm always a little worried about buying them because I'm worried, is that actually going to fit my face? With BNX, yes. I was surprised at their offering and also their willingness to work with me on finding a size that would properly fit my face and work best for me. BNX face masks are manufactured in the United States and they're made with the highest quality standards. They're breathable, they're comfortable, both things that I need for my long IV infusions. I do not like to be uncomfortable for a long period of time. And they protect against things like dust, vapors, fumes, gases, and airborne microorganisms, which when you go to a hospital setting, they tend to be there a lot. They aren't just for wearing when you have to go to a hospital type setting though and can be used in a variety of scenarios. They have an array of different styles and colors which was important to me because I want to look good while I'm wearing it of course. And they have a variety of sizing too. They have a children's small, an adult medium, and an adult large which in this video you're going to see me wearing a child small. They're latex free and they have these really nice soft but durable ear loops on their KN95s. It also has a metal nose piece so you're able to shape it your nose, making sure that you have the best fit around your face. And because of the shape when the mask is on your face, it allows for room to talk as well as not getting fuzzies in your mouth, which is a huge problem with most masks. The shape also reduces fog if you wear glasses, and yes, we did test this out on Zach because I had some medium masks and it did work. 
They're available on Amazon.com, Acumed.com, BNX.com, ProjectN95.org, and they are the number one best-selling mask on Amazon that's made in the USA. They were kind enough to offer a discount code for those of you who are interested in purchasing. I'll put the Amazon link for the mask that I'm wearing throughout this video below in the description as well as the discount code. All right guys, so it is about time to get going for IV fluids. I am running late per usual, um, so I wanna make sure that I have everything. I have got my heating pad because I place it on my arm to help open up my veins. It makes it a little bit more comfortable. Um, so I'm gonna, if I can get it into the bag here, let's see, there we go. <laughs> got some snacks, granola bars. Yes, I am bringing four of them because I eat them like crazy. Um, yeah, there we go. I've got headphones because I'll probably listen to some ASMR videos and zonk out. And then, of course, some masks. Just making sure that I have everything before I head on in here. Um, yeah, I feel like the last few years, the general public has become very aware of airborne illnesses, and you probably can figure out why. But as somebody who's had Crohn's disease since they were a child and who has been on some type of immunosuppressant on and on for the last, like, 20 years, it's kind of always been in the back of my mind because I've had really... Uh, negative experiences getting sick like a normal person type of sickness and it either taking months to go away or getting far more sick than the average person would. I remember right before I had my intestinal resection surgery when I was a teenager, I wound up getting rhinovirus which is typically considered the common cold and I actually wound up hospitalized for it. I wound up getting super dehydrated because I had so much phlegm that was making me very nauseated and I kept throwing up and therefore wound up getting dehydrated so I was hospitalized because of it. And I remember when they told me, oh yeah, this is the common cold. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like why? <laughs> Why am I getting so sick from this? And so I started to realize, oh, you get sick more often and more severely than, than the average person. You know, I spent a lot of time as a kid in and out of the doctor. And when I say the doctor, of course, I, I'm including my GI doctor because of Crohn's disease, but it was also my pediatrician just going to them because I was getting every little thing, it seemed like, anything that could affect you, pink eye, GI bugs, um, respiratory bugs, and they would struggle to go away. I remember one time I had a cough for six months because of a cold. This is carried on through adulthood, you know, this reminder in the back of my mind that I just need to be a little bit more careful because of the medications I'm on and my diagnosis. Things can hit me really hard and I don't stress myself out about it. Germs, viruses, all of that are part of everyday life, but if I could just make it, a little less likely that I get sick, I will do that. This means that, you know, when family has been sick in the past, I've asked them, hey, could you just let me know if somebody is sick in the house and I will, you know, not join in on the activities. Um, when Zach has been sick, I will completely avoid him. No, I won't. I will care for him, but there was one time where he got norovirus and I would not go near him. I cared for him, you know, made him some broth, got him what he needed, got him vomit buckets and whatnot, but I was sanitizing behind him and I was not touching any surfaces that he touched. And if it means I am walking into a hospital setting where the bugs like to go, they like to hang out, I am going to make it a little bit harder for these bugs to get to me. So let's go get some IV fluids.
we are done fluids and I actually feel more with it minus the whole forgetting what floor I parked on I feel more with it oh and also trying to lock my car when I'm unlocking it other than those two weird things I am feeling actually pretty good today so I am thrilled about that I think it's because I wasn't as dehydrated as I normally am <laughs> although I'm very thirsty I brought some uh, seltzer water with me or club soda or whatever the heck you call this I haven't had this in a long time, so I'm gonna drink some of that. I need to open these windows up because it is freaking hot, man. I gotta say though, these masks were so much more comfortable and I felt like I was breathing fresher air through it even though it is definitely more filtrated than the other masks I was wearing and it fits so perfectly around my face. I just felt very good about it. Thankfully, there weren't too many coughers in there a lot of the times. It seems like coughing is coming from every direction and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> But they were amazing, and now I'm thinking of like, oh, I wanted to possibly repaint the dining room, and I'm gonna need to sand in there, and like, these would be pretty amazing for that too. Yeah, I'm I'm making the switch. I am moving over to those masks for every future fluid appointment or whatever I have to do that you know requires me going into a hospital or a doctor type setting. Thank you so much to BNX for sponsoring today's video. I am very grateful for that. Um, and I very much appreciate my viewers support and watching my videos. Um, today is a good day. I'm very happy. My IV was a one and doneer. It only took one try to get this baby in and it didn't hurt the whole time. It was in my right hand. I made texting and typing a little hard, but you know, it's only in for a couple hours, so it's fine. And I felt more comfortable throughout the whole process because A, just, you know, a little bit extra protection when it comes to masks and it was just a nice fitting one. It was comfortable and I wasn't spitting out fuzzies behind my mask the whole time. <laughs> I really like them, but I need to drink something. I'm thirsty. Why am I thirsty? I just got a liter and a half of fluids. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Thank you for joining me with my IV fluids. Even though I realize that I can't necessarily meet everybody who watches my videos and I won't know your face or we won't speak, it feels very comforting to be able to talk to somebody throughout this process, take somebody along, and know that there is somebody on the other end of it somebody is receiving these videos and watching them it's always provided me a, a bit of comfort and just uh makes me feel a little less alone makes me put my brave face on because this I, ivs are not that big of a deal but it's not fun like getting a needle put into you is not thrilling um i can think of many other activities i'd like to be doing but it's just nice to have somebody there, so I really appreciate you watching. All right, I need to get on the road. I'm gonna take an afternoon nap, although I don't think it's gonna take up the whole afternoon like it normally does, because I feel really good. But anyways, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next. Bye, guys.